Hey guys, it's me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. some home cooked food um, I didn't do a video of me cooking it but I'll let you know what I have here I have some shishito peppers that I sauteed in a pan and you can roast these but they're little uh, shishito peppers and I put some olive oil in the pan and then I put some salt pepper and garlic powder and just let them get a little brown um, to get that little almost roasted feel and then I have some sweet potatoes here and I cooked those in the oven as well with um, some honey and a little brown sugar. And then I have some green beans here with just um, like garlic, a little onion, red uh, pepper, uh, red uh, chili flakes, um, salt and pepper. And then here I have a little salad, one of my favorite salads. I have an arugula salad. I mixed some carrots in it this time with the little pepita seeds, some cranberry, and then salmon on top. So I love uh, this combination of the salmon with the arugula. So I'm going to say a prayer and we can get started. Dear God, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. Thank you for this day. Thank you for my viewers. I ask that you be with them. Keep them happy, healthy, and safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, guys. So... I also put some of this dressing. Um, you can see I've been using this one. It's the Simply Dressed Vinaigrette Lemon. I put that on the arugula before I put the salmon in. All right, so how are you all doing? I'm about to get into the salad first because that salmon is calling my name. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. y'all some people don't like arugula but with salmon mm. little shishito Shishito peppers are not spicy, like every now and then they give a little kick, but it's not really spicy. It's not like eating like a jalapeno or something. So, I definitely am sticking to my couple of weeks without meat, um, with the exception of seafood. So this is a good meal that I enjoy, um, that I'll definitely have again within, you know, these weeks. Um,
This is good. <laughs> So, there's the seed pods in there, so. You could eat the seeds, but I've been eating around them. All right, I've been inhaling the salad. Let's get into these green beans. Sweet potato. Mmm. Those are good. Oh, I put um cinnamon as well. So this is honey, a little brown sugar, and cinnamon. I didn't use any butter. I cooked them in the oven. I chop them up, well, peel them, chop them up, put them in a big bowl, and then I put honey, and I took some brown sugar, and then I mixed it up, and then I put cinnamon and mixed that in, and then just spread them on a pan in the oven and let them cook until they were tender and That was the result. They're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So good. said a healthy meal has to be boring <laughs> who So, I'll probably save the fast food meals for challenges that I might do and things like that. If I can modify... If it's not a challenge where I can modify it, then I just won't be able to participate in those. But like in the Taco Bell one, the six minute Taco Bell challenge, I was able to modify it with 
um, not having the meat. And so if I can do that, then I'll participate for sure. I'm getting full. Mm -hmm. That's filling. And these sweet potatoes are definitely filling. <laughs> Put your mini in my mouth. Water. Y'all, it's so weird. I've been wanting to drink cold water and I've always been like a room temperature water person. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. Well, my last bite. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. This dressing is perfect on the arugula with the salmon. You don't need to put a whole lot. And it's very low sugar, like one gram of sugar. Um, it could be a little bit lower in sodium, but not the worst I've seen. 90 calories for two tablespoons. Another option would just be to do some olive oil which sometimes I'll do that, like olive oil, a little salt, pepper, and then take an actual lemon and put that juice. And that's even better than a uh, purchased um, salad dressing. So definitely ways to make it healthy. But it's a good way to get more greens in just um, with a salad and things like that so you could just eat the salmon but if you put the bed of arugula you're getting more greens and so it's good and then the green beans so also you could not put like the brown sugar you could just put the honey um, and it'll still turn out pretty good I just wanted the flavors of the brown sugar and the cinnamon so to each his own everything in moderation is what i say but guys i went to the gym today earlier i went to go eat lunch with a friend at um this place called piranha rob piranha ramen and sushi and i got a shrimp tempura roll um and then i got a veggie ramen um that was like full of veggies and surprisingly I was eating some of the mushrooms in there and I'm not a mushroom person but the ramen was really good um it was 
vegetables in there, um, like bok choy, uh, leeks, and some other veggies in there, mushroom. And there was some other veggie in there that um, I wasn't familiar with. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. But it was really, really good. And that's all I had for um, lunch. And then early this morning for breakfast, I had a smoothie. And the smoothie had um, coconut milk, uh, banana, avocado, um, mango. And then I had some ground flaxseed. And then the um, matcha powder. Not the green tea matcha, but the M-A-C-A. -A. It's like a almost a tan color powder. But it's supposed to be good for like energy. And then I put... Um, some MCT oil in there is supposed to be good for like brain fuel and energy. And so that's what I had for breakfast. For a snack, I had some um, uh, sea salt popcorn and that was it. And so I'll probably have um, a mango fruit um, or something or orange um, as my dessert after this video. And that'll be it. So um, you can definitely enjoy, one thing that I realized is you can definitely still enjoy food, eating healthier. It's just a different flavor. So it's not that you have to eat things that are bland and that are just completely boring and things like that. It's just that you're staying away from some of the things that just are really not so good for you. And so, like I said, I'm still going to have some videos with fast food and things like that but I'll probably save them for like challenges or if there's like a special video that I want to do or if there's like uh, something coming out that I want to try um that's like kind of popular whatever it might be so you might see some of that in the videos but other than that um you'll see a little bit of a change or shift in what I'm eating um I do have a goal of where I'm trying to get to so hopefully by May you'll see that transformation Anyway, y'all, I'm going to stop rambling and close this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, bye. Like, comment, subscribe.